Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Today we want to consider how to develop a hydrocarbon deposit. We will see that this requires drilling several types of boreholes. At the beginning, geologists look for the structures that might contain oil or gas. And so we have built one here for experiments today. The question is, is there really a hydrocarbon deposit in this structure or not? Is there oil or gas in the pores of the rock or not? This is what we want to check out in our model today. To find out if there's a deposit or not, we need to drill an exploration well, the first well. And the best thing is to drill it in the middle of the structure. And so we drill here. And then we take a core, which is a part of the piece of the rock. Look what we have here. It's a core. And this core is black. So obviously, we have found the hydrocarbon deposit here. Yeah. Now the next question arises. We want to know if it is a good reservoir and whether this deposit is worth producing commercially or not. To determine that, we need to recover more samples from different parts of the deposit. Hence, we need to drill more holes. These holes are called confirmation or appraiser wells. So we drill another hole again and we take another core. Aha! Uh -huh. This looks a bit like the first one. Quite different, but still has some black deposits. Although much less. We still don't know exactly how this deposit looks like. So we continue drilling another appraiser well again. And we hope that we can get more information from the depo about the deposit. Okay, on this side, well, some information, quite little. Let's see what's on the other side of the structure. Hopefully, we can get another core to the surface from here. We drill again, and we take a core. Yeah, this is also very good. So we see now that we need a whole lot of appraiser drilling to evaluate the quality and the size of our deposit. So now we'll try to create a model of our deposit by joining our coin results with lines. This is how you estimate how your oil deposit looks like. Mm. It could perhaps look like this. And then we join them together. And then the black areas can be the oil and gas. And by using this reservoir model, I can decide to design a production well. In this case, I will perhaps drill down here in this direction and get an optimum placement within the reservoir. However, so far, I cannot really tell how good my reservoir is because this is based on just few samples taken. So therefore, let us check how correct is our model. We cut through the deposit and we take one part away. Like this. Aha! So now we can see how really our deposit looks like. I think our model fits well. It doesn't look so bad. We probably could have done a good job planning the production wells with this. Good job. But in reality, reservoir modeling is quite more complex than this. So if you want to get more information, come to our lecture in Basics of Drilling Engineering here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.